Hey, welcome all you physicists. <laughs> okay, well, welcome guys. Um, today, I'll be starting a new playlist, and this playlist is going to consist of modern physics and all the experiments and interesting new theories that have developed throughout the past century of ever since the conception of modern physics. And so this video, this very first video, is um, I want to uh, o go over, like provide an overview of what modern physics is, is. and in later episodes I'll go more in depth into um, the experiments and the sciences and all the fun stuff that came out of this wonderful new branch of physics. So first off, um, physics right now can be classified, like all you, like all the physics right now that you can ever learn is can be classified up into, whoa, why is it C so big? Classical physics and modern physics. And let me um, show you the difference between these two. So modern physics and classical physics. Okay, so classical physics consists of um, Newtonian physics, which is what you've learned so far in high school and is basically what my previous playlist was all about, like basically all the stuff in my other physics playlist, playlist is classical physics and is Newtonian physics. So like your um, F net equals M A and all that kind of stuff, that's all Newtonian physics. That's a T by the way. And then, um, but the thing is, the reason why Newtonian physics isn't part of modern physics is because it does not work. And Einstein and a whole bunch of other scientists disproved Newton. And this was highly controversial at the time because, I mean, Newton's laws were laws. I mean, they were widely accepted by the whole scientific community. And then some um, scientists came along, like Einstein and, Pla and Max Planck, and they just suddenly just d disproved all of Newto um, Newtonian physics. And the whole scientific community was, community was shocked. So, as you can see, it's kind of controversial stating that what has the laws of physics as people knew it, knew it at a time was wrong, according to this new modern physicist. So let me um, explain why they were wrong. Well, the thing is, they weren't necessarily wrong per se. They were just approximations of the correct, of the actual, um, of the actual phenomenon that is observed. For example, um, Newtonian physics does not hold for high-speed objects. It only holds for objects going at low speeds. Also, it doesn't hold for objects at the quantum level, which I'll talk more about later. It um, basically quantum means at the quantum level it basically means subatomic um, micro level. So this Newtonian physics only works at macro level. So like large objects, like an apple or like like Newton's apple falling from a tree, they they're all at low speeds low speeds and big. That is the basic um, criteria for neutron physics to hold. And as you as your speed as an as the speed of an object gets faster and faster and gets closer to the speed of light, Newtonian physics gets kinda wonky and they don't hold anymore. Like the like this wouldn't work. Um, they needed something else to they needed some other kind of uh, of of uh, of laws to govern um, fast moving objects. And this is where um, Einstein came along and developed his theory of relativity. And I'm sure you guys heard of this before and I'll touch more about this later on in future videos and it's really interesting. And also, so that's for the speed. So this is for speed and this is for high speeds. But what happens if you go into the micro level? So like small objects. Well, you would need now quantum theory, or quantum physics, or quantum mechanics, depending, just different names for the same thing. And this is for objects at the micro level. So basically, um, objects such as the proton, um, bosons, um, quarks, those are all in quantum theory. And these two are so interesting. I'm like, I can just tell you all about it. Anyway, I'm going to control my excitement and hold it for the future episodes. So that is a basic overview of classical physics versus modern physics. And hope you guys have a, um, a brief, a general gist of what is going to happen in the future um, videos. 
uh, yeah, so I'm going to end here and watch out for my future videos on theory of relativity and quantum theory. I'll see you guys then.